Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook that from time to time, and I do it also, instead of grabbing the two point line, which is normally your default to draw a two point line, they will grab the parallel dimension tool, which is totally different. The parallel dimension tool is just for measuring. They were asking how you could change the appearance. And there's really, there's a lot you can do with the tools up in the menu bar, but down here, uh, there's very little space. I mean, you could customize it by clicking on it and go to toolbar items and have caption only, but it wastes a lot of space because it just can't write in there. So if you're on that item, you can right click, customize, tool, toolbar item, and then just put um, image only. But what you can do, you don't use the parallel dimension tool that much. Hold down the control and the alt button and just drag it out. And then you can put it right up into your menu bar. It's gone from here. And when you need it, I mean, I've got some, I mean, I use dockers all the time. I use join curves all the time. And so you could use the parallel dimension tool if you needed to measure a certain size box or a drawing or um, let's just do this right here. Let's weld these two items together. I want to know what the length of that right there. Well, your parallel dimension tool is normally right now, but now it's up here. Grab your parallel dimension tool and let's zoom in a little bit. Go to that node to that node and you've got 2.25 inches. So you can move things up here that you might not use all the time. And you can also move things up here that you use a lot. Um, you know, like I use the smooth tool a lot. So I could put it up here instead of having to go to shape and, you know, you could actually have both these up here. And, and I've done that before when I do a lot of work. I'll, uh, well, let's just do that real quick. Let's move that here. And let's move this here. And I'm going to put them in the same toolbox. Now I've got them on my drawing. And if I want, of course, I'll have to turn this rectangle into a curve. Go to range. I guess it already is a curve. And if you wanted the shape tool, you could right click and turn it into a curve and do this. But then if you want the smoothing tool, let's have it really, really little. Yeah, I got it really, really little. Let's make it um, five inches so it'll show up. And then you've got your smoothing tool to smooth out those points. And so if you're doing a map or a drawing, you've got them right there. Now, when you're through with it, you can just exit it out. And they're still there. You haven't changed anything. You didn't move the whole icon like we did the parallel dimension tool. Anyway, I hope that answered his question a little bit. Thank you for watching.